So what happens is two people get divorced because once one of them decides to be divorced, they, the other can't really stop that from happening in the long run. Um, and then you have a person who's divorced and one who really emotionally is not divorced. And so there's a lot of conflict there. Um, the one who's not divorced is uh, possibly trying to reestablish a relationship. And that gets in the way of co-parenting effectively and, and in the best interests of your children. Um, and so you really have to, as if you're the person who has been divorced for some time, you really have to put yourself in the other person's shoes and be sensitive to his or her emotions and that that um, that romance that is still in his or her mind um, and the anger because they don't understand why you left. And so that's the hardest. That's probably the most difficult. And it can last for a long time. So you can have a, a, a many Christmases where the kids are stuck in the middle, where the parents are not on the same page at all. And somehow you need to get through that and get um, get the other person on the same page with you. And usually that is, the best way to handle that is to, through a, a, a third party, through a marriage counselor or a, a parenting counselor, um, that kind of person who can help you deal with the um, the emotions that, that aren't gone yet.